Welcome, this is Ladies Night right here on Independent Television. I am Amizi Bazwai. As always, we have something fantastic to talk about today. And like I said, we have got two beautiful ladies joining me on the show today. One you already know and one who will be joining us for the first time today. I'm talking about Caroline Okonji. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. It's lovely to have you here today. Same here. And I have the newbie talking about Sherry Fat Momoji. How are you doing? I'm fine, and thank you. to be here. Ah, I feel it's a privilege anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm looking forward to you bringing on fun and, of course, uh, excitement on the show. Definitely. Wonderful. All right, uh, for those of you watching out there, this is Ladies Night, like I said earlier on. Today, we're going to be looking at the effects of social media on the lifestyle of a young lady. Now, I'm specifying young lady. I don't want to be broadened and uh, talk about it generally. I want to just uh, specify it and uh, focus on the young lady. Now, social media lately has been something that has been affecting a lot of persons, especially the youth, the teenagers as well, in positive ways, in negative ways, depends on how you see it. Now, we're going to be looking at how it affects a young lady in our time today. I'll start off with um, C. White. You are one person who loves social media. You may not participate <laughs> okay. uh, personally on social media, yeah. but you, you love to scan through yeah. your Instagram page, your Facebook page, yeah. and check up everything. Yeah. So tell sure. me, how has it affected you so far? I want you to look inward. Okay. Um, I know I didn't, I didn't brief you guys on this part. <laughs> <laughs> it might come as a shock, but I want to but see it's a, it, it, it. It's, it's a personal experience because everybody in one way or the other have access to the social media. Mm -hmm. So there must be one thing that you experience or social media is doing to you that you can actually explain without probably having to Google to find out fact because you know we have access to social media every day. Okay, now let me just talk about my personal experience. Uh -huh. Social media, like I said, I love social media. If not for anything, at least to get information, first off. Okay. Let me say that. To get information, to have something to always talk about, to always see myself contributing to one conversation or the other. When people are talking about a particular artist or talking about, um, talking about a particular politician, I, I want to see myself like, oh, I've been able to, I came across this story. I know what you're talking about. I will be able to make contributions positively and constructively. I wouldn't be this kind of person that people will be talking and I'm just looking. But if at all I choose to look, it's because I don't want to talk, not because I don't know it. So basically, for me, I would say that um, social media has impacted me positively. Let me just say that. Yes, it has really impacted me positively. But on the negative side, I have not really seen myself allowing social media to impact me negatively because I have come to realization that um, everything you see on social media is not just the way it is. If you don't critically investigate, you just be misled. So for me, based on that, I have decided or I have disciplined myself to the extent that social media will not allow me to do the things I don't want to do because it is not the way it is. People just do it out there for content's sake. So for social media, let me just leave it at that because I know subsequently there are more things to say has impacted me positively and not giving social media the chance to affect me negatively. Okay. That's it. Mm, well, some people may think they're not, they're not actually affected negatively probably because you can't see it. I don't know. I'm just 
Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, let me just let me. No, no. I, okay, you said you do, you're not being affected negatively. No, no, I did not say I'm not affected negatively. Okay. I said I don't want to give social media the chance okay. to affect me negatively. Okay, you're contradicting yourself. Right no, now. I'm not <laughs> contradicting. Contra <laughs> so okay. I'm not trying to contradict myself because I know what social media is all about. Mm. I said I have come to the realization that social media is not sometimes what it is so based on that i have been able to discipline myself not to always believe what i see on social media thinking that that is what it is because a lot of persons are living on social media based on content sake it is not reality so if you allow content to affect your real person it is going to affect you negatively because that's not what it is. The real life is not what you're saying there. So that's why I said I will not allow social media, having that understanding about social media, that everything I'm saying there is not the way it is, I will not allow it to affect me negatively. Okay. Not because it does not have negative effect. On if you're you. not disciplined. On you. Uh, not me, though. Let me leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, no, All me. right, how about you, Sheriff? How has social media impacted your life? Um, I'll say it has been one hell of a ride mm -hmm. in the sense that social media has its an advantage and disadvantage. That bad side it has the good it's side. Nice, yeah. um, but on a lighter note, I'll say that it has affected me positively okay. because I've not really given social media that and the ground the edge for it to like let me say i'm not too addicted to it okay. for me to now start feeling oh these people with these six packs or with the 16 inches waist because <laughs> my my you now start looking at yourself as if your life is not is not perfect enough, it's yeah. not it doesn't measure enough you get me so i'll say it has both the good and the bad side okay. but on the long road it's been one hell of a ride just to add to what I said earlier about social media now, there is something I realized that social media is actually doing to me, although it's not on the negative side. <laughs> yes. So what is it doing? Stopping it's, you from sleeping at night? Not, not really stopping me from sleeping okay. at night, but rather it's trying to bring out in me that acting part of me that I've always wanted to see myself do. I, I remember one time on this show, I talked to, when we talked about something that has to do with our career and stuff like mm. that, what would I prefer to do and stuff like that. And I told you that I love acting. That was my dream. That was something I wanted to see myself doing. So on that note, social media is gradually trying to bring out the acting in me because I, uh, with my phone, I can personally do something in my house. I can personally do something in my comfort zone, anywhere I found myself like five minutes video 10 minutes video of acting without having to probably have a director a producer or you just see yourself doing it all alone yourself and you're putting it out there and you're already getting viewers likes and all of it so for me social media has been able to expose me to that level of understanding about my acting that i don't really need to go into a bigger mm. fan to be out there so that, that's it. Okay, um, we've talked about how it affects you. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about people that are around us. Okay. Now, you may not experience something personally, but you may experience it when you see it happening to others. So let's talk about what we think the effects are of social media on a young lady, especially the ones of nowadays. Yeah. Those who are constantly on social media, those who are constantly um running their life by social media they want to be like this person be like that person do this dress like this what do you think are the effects that social media has on um young ladies nowadays let's start with sheriff okay the effects negative effects positive effects effect. okay let me start positive. let me start okay. from the positive okay. angle like i said alone i said it has both advantage and, and advantage, disadvantage yeah. Uh, for social media, I think uh, the world is now like, is a global village mm -hmm. and social media has made it smaller in the sense that you can connect and reconnect with your friends. Um, news travel faster on social media and also is a platform whereby it 
it can motivate you depending on you and depending on the followers okay. on your followers okay so on the negative aspect i'll say that <coughs> it is is um it still has to boil down to addiction when when by uh, a lot of young ladies a lot of the things we see on social media like caroline said most mm. of them are not real mm -hmm. they are just edited filtered photographs and by the time you are not comparing your original life your life that you are that is not too perfect but it is actually okay mm -hmm. on a normal note and you're not comparing it to that picture or that um that story or the video you saw on social media it's if you are this person that has this low self-esteem, it can weigh you down. And this can lead to depression, it can even lead to suicidal thoughts, you get me? So you, you see that a lot of people, even there are, there are cases on Facebook, on Twitter, they'll just drop some creepy notes and they'll tell you this life, I like, I've failed, I'm a failure and all that. And before you know it, that person has committed to that because mm. They are trying to weigh their own life with the person they see how they are. That is not, it's not real. It's not real. Yeah. yeah. You made mention of um, the perfect pictures that you see, whereas your own life, which is real, yes. is not as is not measuring up to standards. Yes. Those pictures. Yes. Okay. Um. See why it's paradise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Still white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So tell me, yeah. what, what do you think are the effects it can have, especially on a young lady? Okay, now um, social media. I can remember vividly when we used to be, um, go, uh, when we were in secondary school, where we get to have debates. Yeah. They will say um, this person will be debating on electricity has done more harm than good, uh, more harm. The other one will be saying electricity has done more good than harm. You know stuff like that. So now social media has done more harm than good. Okay. Let me say that. Okay. Reasons being that the effect it has on young girls today is something we cannot even describe because a lot of girls are not living a competitive life i want to be like a i want to be like b mm. some persons are not doing the things they are not supposed to do because they want to measure up they want to live up the standard and some persons found themselves in a situation whereby the least expected because they feel like I think this is what I'm supposed to do, just to be there. Now, let me quickly say this. Social media is a place for fun, if you don't understand it. For me, it's a place to catch fun. But in as much as it is a place for you to catch fun, let's not also forget that it is a place for you to get education, for you to be educated. And in as much as you be getting education from it, don't also forget that it is a place where you can be easily deceived. Yeah. And in as much as you're going to be deceived, don't forget that you have your decisions to make. That's for me. That is how I have been able to position social media. When it comes to the entertainment angle, I want to see myself feeling it as a young lady. When it comes to the education part, I want to see myself ga gaining something from the social media that will impact me positively. And when it comes to uh, the, the, the deceiving aspect of it, I don't want to see myself being deceived if I don't know the truth about what I'm looking at. Because if I just want to take it the way it is, then go and act on it in real life. It might not come out the way I saw it there. Now the social media has possibly or succeeded in deceiving me. So now, if I now allow myself to be deceived, what is now my decision as the person who is accessing the social media? I will be able to tell myself that, oh, more, I never reach this level till they do this thing. <laughs> Let me just take it easy with myself. Let me not go and fall into temptation. Let me not go and fall into depression and be thinking of otherwise. So that I don't go and be borrowing money to do what I'm not supposed to do. So I don't go and be borrowing clothes just to live up to standard. So I don't go and be, you know, just self-discipline will help you not to allow negative effect of social media to weigh you down. A lot of people do not know that social media can bring you from hero to zero. That is the negative effect it has on young girls. And then again, they begin to desire what they are not supposed, they cannot acquire in the next three years. You get to see a young lady admiring a boy that has six pack. And there's this young, young man out there that has been, uh, that is even asking him, 
asking him out. But based on the video she has watched on social media, that this girl is uh, having a TikTok video with her partner, and they are both wearing the same clothes, doing something like that. And at the end of the day, people are liking their videos. When you get to see their videos, they already have one point something mm. million likes. And based on that, you're judging your relationship lifestyle that your relationship has to be like that. If you don't have six pack, I'm uncle, sorry, you can't come my way because I want to do a TikTok video with my mm. partner and I want to rock the same way those people are rocking. So now, because of all those things we access on social media, let's quickly talk about the uh, financial aspect of it. Social media now is, let, let, permit me to use this word, is now the biggest ritual platform for you. What I mean by that is people are really cashing cashing out from social media, making cool cash from social media, yeah. just with their good content. Yes. And because of that, everybody's now diving into TikTok, because TikTok is the one that is trending now. Yeah. Everybody's trying to meet up to expectations, so that the TikTok will be paying them, Facebook will be paying them, Instagram will be paying them, YouTube will be paying them. But in all of it, young girls have forgotten to know that if you don't have content in you, nobody will like your video. Mm. If you don't have something to catch your audience's attention, Okay, now that, you brings, will just be that there. brings me to what exactly is the content that would catch the attention of people. Because if you, if you check Instagram, you check yeah. um, TikTok, like yeah. you rightly said, what sells nudity? Yeah. So is, is that what we want to portray to, especially the younger ones who are just upcoming? Do you think that in a way it has affected the dressing style of young ladies nowadays? Um, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years ago, you, you would hear parents say it's because they are watching Hollywood movies, it's because they are watching Nollywood yeah. movies, they are copying the actress's dressing style. But these days, how many people actually watch movies? They, they, are, they are usually on social media more than they even see movies. So I, I think there's a shift towards social media being the one impacting how people dress nowadays. Okay. So can you enlighten us on that? Because you just made mention of content. So do you think it's all content on TikTok, all content on Instagram that is content that is worthy to be there? Whatever have advantage, have disadvantage. Yeah. Some persons will like your content. But I, like let's say for instance, I might like what you're wearing now. Someone else will not like what you're wearing because you feel you're too decent. Then me, I feel like, ah, I like your decency. It's a two different thing. So the content we see on Instagram, on Facebook, on uh, TikTok, likey, and the likes of them, just to mention by a few, is, 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 it varies. Everybody knows what they can do to catch the attention of their audience. Now, first off, we as individuals, let me quickly say that we are the ones also promoting uh, nudities. You understand? Because... You get to see someone who is trying to live up to expectations, like trying to be decent, trying to bring up content with decent clothes. The person will not have close to five like. But you get to see someone who is completely naked. The person already has one million like. Now, if you not take your time to critically look at the both contents, you even realize that even the person that is covering up is even more like the content is even more catchy mm. than the one that is nude that is half naked but why is it that this okay, one that I is i wouldn't use the word catchy probably valuable okay valuable uh, because when i see a naked girl even mm. as a woman yeah. it's there's there's this instinct to want to check what is this person actually doing yeah. but if i just see a lady decently dressed i may not be interested it may not attract my attention as quickly as the half naked lady would. that is because that is what is now most acceptable in the society because we made it like that you see someone who is well covered with a good content you feel like this is where we are this kind of overall waiting he won't give me but you already seen a yellow girl yellow lap everywhere everywhere is well exposed Ah, you're rushing your neck. We even want to break. Even you want to break your leg that you're running into that social person social media to go and see. And at the end of the day, the person is not even doing anything. The person can just be standing and turning around 360 degree. And you see the you see somebody liking the picture. But that person that took out her time, because I don't want to talk about body guys. Let me just center on the women because we women are of the more exposed part of it when it comes to social media. 
you just get to see someone liking her because she's turning 360 degree because she's just wearing only pant and bra but the other person wearing jeans trousers and a polo shirt you just scroll up immediately so you that is liking that video what are you encouraging that's the question i should be asking or we should be asking so first of it is we that is encouraging those things it is not because the contents on social media is not catchy enough but it's about what is appealing mm -hmm. to the mind so let me leave it at that, that place okay let's talk to sheriffat let's um, take a look at the impact it has on relationships a lot of people post their lives on social media whether true whether fabricated whether covered up whether partially um showing they, they they tend to put it all there on our yeah. face and then you get to hear the terms god when carry me the go my husband yeah. <laughs> it's, it's because people started posting things on social media recently i i posted a video of myself and my husband and a lot of people started sending me those messages god when oh i wish i was the one blah 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 and i said something it's not what you see on social media i wasn't referring to myself i was talking generally it's not what you see on social media that may be the real thing some people are yeah. in pain some people are miserable in their homes but they come on social media and they're smiling and then maybe two three years later you hear they're divorced how is that possible look at funke akindele and her husband let's take them for example i used to look at them i'm like wow Perfect. she alongside uh, Mercy Johnson. I'm always okay. Wow, they are always so happy on social media with their partner, and then you just hear the breaking news. They are they are splitting. How did that happen? It means sometimes and somewhere along the line, they were pretending. They were putting the big smiley face, whereas deep down they are either sad, angry, crying. So how do you think all this is affecting the mindsets of women? Caroline actually mentioned earlier on that. Um, most ladies or a lot of ladies tend to base how their relationship should be because of what they've seen on social media do you think that's true i yeah to some extent i think it's true but let me quickly say this as humans naturally we we tend to promote negativity it's more like bad news travels faster mm -hmm. that's why when she was talking about um nudity and i'm like well, a lot of people want to promote that because it's amusing, it's pleasing, you get me. But the person that is properly covered up, they don't want to promote it, they don't want to give it the likes and all that. Then talking about her relationship, you made mention of Fuke at Akindele mm -hmm. and the likes of others. Yeah, funny enough, the, the bottom line is these people most especially don't put ads when they are crying on social media. You just see it. And they, they tend to, uh, that's why I say it is, it's more like it's scripted, you know. Mm. They put on the acting phase, they, they are all, they, they, they have the, the, the most perfect marriage, yeah. their husband is flawless, and they just, funny enough, some of them will even go outside, get a gift from this, for themselves, by themselves. They will still post it on social media. Yes, they will still post it on social media that the, the husband or the wife actually just gives them, and you guys, saying God when when we should stop winning God I beg. Like, no no I think we should stop doing that because okay. the, I think the, the, the recent one now is God am I a spoon? Uh, you can imagine. So everyone has their own time. And we should not use uh because probably you may have a boyfriend or a spouse that that child your your spouse can be someone that does not even like going out. You understand? But that does not mean that your husband or your wife does not like you. Mm. You understand? So we should not measure our lives to what we see on social media. So on the on the on the, on the negative side is is a, is a lot is a lot because a lot of people and most of these uh, these celebrities, as the case may be, they will just come up all of a sudden they'll tell you they are divorcing, and you start wondering, uh -uh, this is what I've been tapping from. Are you a tap <laughs> are you a pan wine tapper? So <laughs> that's it. So we should just. Try to live our lives as uh, the best way we can, and uh, God help us all. Okay, yeah. see why it's last words in two seconds. Is that even possible? Oh my <laughs> goodness, okay. <laughs> what I would say is just live your life. 
yeah. allow uh, just allow yourself to be don't over pressure yourself and don't judge your life based on what you're seeing on social media okay. everybody get their speech yes. don't go wrong past yourself <laughs> that's so that's it. It. That's same it. words as sheriff at, um, don't measure your life with what you see on social media it's been ladies night right here on independent television as always we had a great time on the program am i right ladies yes okay yes. so i've had caroline and i've had sheriff Fat in the yeah. building today next week will be another fantastic time so if i were you i would keep it a date and of course join us my name is ameze bazwai good night